five ghosts caught on camera. The Passenger This next chilling CCTV video was allegedly shared to the public by an anonymous taxi driver in Japan. He says that a little after 1 a.m. he saw a woman on the street raise her hand to hell his taxi. He pulls over and stops. But what happens next is truly bizarre. The driver remotely opens the door in the back with a switch, expecting the woman to step inside the vehicle. But when he looks again, there's no one there. So the confused driver simply closes the door and drives away. But just a few minutes later, he drives through a tunnel on the road. Without him knowing, his drive recorder captures something absolutely terrifying. The extremely disturbing figure of a woman can be seen appearing in the back seat of his car, not once, but twice. She appears distorted with a swollen face, one creepy eye open and one closed. The taxi driver claims that he had no idea what was happening so close behind him. He says that he felt a disturbing chill at the time, but he didn't see or hear anything unusual. The driver believes this to be the manifestation of a spirit of the victim of a traffic accident on this road, forever lost on the streets of Japan, trying to get a ride back home. Something under the bed. Parents Josh and Sarah from Nashville, Tennessee had never posted anything related to the paranormal on either one of their TikTok pages. That is until one night when Sarah and Josh discover something very strange on their bedroom security camera. Sarah is fast asleep in bed with her daughter Emma when this happens. Little Emma is sleeping peacefully with her doll when it inexplicably moves on its own. But creepiest of all, the child's shirt appears to be getting tugged by something that's just not there. Dad Josh believes the strange event to be something paranormal, but his wife Sarah is still skeptical. But it gets even creepier. Because late one night, Josh is at work and Sarah is fast asleep. Just around midnight, the baby monitor in Emma's bedroom record something terrifying. The TV in the room is on and little Emma is awake and seems to be curious about something underneath her bed. When she goes to investigate, the little girl appears to be getting pulled underneath the bed. Emma starts to cry and yells out for her mother who soon wakes up and comes to her rescue. 
but just what happened to little Emma is unclear. Josh explains that he has no idea what happened to his daughter. He shows in a video that the space under Emma's bed is too small for anyone to have been hiding under there. So what do you think happened to little Emma? Could it be that some dark presence has attached itself to the toddler? Or just what is going on here? Let me know what you think. The Haunting in Holland, Part 2 So a month ago I featured a spooky video from an anonymous Dutch YouTuber named Sabia L. At the time, the video was a bit of a mystery, as all the information I had was her YouTube username, Sabia L, and that she was living in Holland. But since then, I've actually been able to contact Sabia and ask her about her videos. Sabia shared with me that she lives in a small apartment in Holland in a house that was built in 1923. She says she doesn't really know the history of the house, but that ever since she moved in last year, she noticed a presence in the home. Cabinet doors open and close on their own, things move, and on multiple occasions she has seen a dark shadow out of the corner of her eye. Sabia says that she was a skeptic before she moved in, but after experiencing the repeated paranormal activity, she became a believer. Now after I featured Sabia L's video last time, she received many encouraging comments from Nuke's Top 5 viewers, and so she decided to start filming more of the strange activity in her home. One night, she captures something downright creepy. Stil. Dat is dat vieze creepy ass keukentje. Kijk, dat bedoel ik dus. Dat is dat licht. Lichtknopje. Het is echt helemaal niet. Deze deur is gewoon dicht. Er is hier gewoon echt helemaal niemand.
A heavy sliding door that's fairly difficult to move actually slides sideways completely on its own. Sabia is freaked out but tries to stay calm. The light in the kitchen then shuts on and off and a cabinet door opens and closes. Sabia can't find any explanation for the strange activity. Another night, and she records again as the presence seems to be getting more and more aggressive. And then, only two days later, Sabia captures something else. Something absolutely horrifying. Sabia watches from her bedroom as all of her lights flicker on and off. She suddenly hears the voice of what sounds like a young girl, but the voice is so low and muffled that it's barely comprehensible in Dutch. But that's not even the creepiest part of the video. Because, did you see it? Watch one more time. A horrifying dark figure can be seen standing in Sabia's living room, seemingly watching her from behind the sliding door before it disappears into thin air. So is Sabia's home haunted by a dark presence? Let me know what you think. You can watch all of Sabia L's paranormal encounters over on her YouTube channel, Sabia L. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Highway 5 Ghost Girl. This next video posted to Reddit by user Little Goth Doll was recorded from a monitor, then screen capped on a phone before it finally made its way to the internet. So it's a bit potato quality. Nevertheless, the video is chilling. It was pulled from the dash cam feed of two truck drivers after a very frightening incident. So, one night two truckers are driving on Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama, when they get the scare of a lifetime. <laughs> the panic-stricken truck drivers pull over and call 911. But when they check the highway and the surrounding area along with arriving police, they don't find anything. There's just no one there. After the truck drivers request the viewing of the footage recorded that night on Highway 5, they are shocked. Just like they thought, there is in fact a girl in a long dress walking across the road, seemingly getting hit by their truck. They later find out that there's a well-known ghost story associated with this road. Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama. The story goes that 10 years ago on a rainy night, a teenage girl on her way home from her high school prom lost her life on the road after being hit by an 18-wheeler truck. 
Over the years, many truck drivers claim that they have witnessed a girl wearing a prom dress on Highway 5. So could it be that these truck drivers captured the prom dress ghost of Highway 5? Their reactions certainly look convincing. But as always, you decide. The Ghost Files Popular German paranormal investigators Die Geisterachten, which translates to The Ghost Files, traveled to an allegedly haunted estate in Bad Ems, Germany. The sprawling structure was constructed in the 1920s and served as a critical care center run by the Protestant Church. The makeshift medical center was staffed by nuns and female church officials who devoted their lives to caring for the sick and the elderly. Many of the patients at the care center suffered from devastating and highly contagious diseases. So it's not surprising that over its 70 year history, many people lost their lives inside these walls, including men, women, children, and even the devoted nuns who often caught infectious diseases from the very patients that they were treating. The staff of the care center slowly dwindled until there was just no one left to care for patients. The care center was eventually left abandoned in 1993. Cut to current day. The abandoned historic building is said to be haunted by the spirits of its deceased patients. There are countless reports from visitors who claim to have seen dark apparitions and witnessed unexplained supernatural activity inside the old abandoned care home. The De Geisterachten investigators split up into three teams to explore different sections of the massive building. When team members Daniel and Biola explore the basement, they begin to experience something truly bizarre. Einfach durch so eine Tür gehen. Hast du das gehört? Was war? Was war? Das klang gerade wie eine Stimme. Eine Stimme? Einfach durch so eine Tür gehen. Hast du das gehört? Hallo? Ist jemand bei uns? Hallo? Jetzt von hier. Wollen wir gucken gehen? Auf jeden Fall. Das sind definitiv Schritte. Hast du das gehört? Halt, halt Was mal. Du? Was war? Es hat ein bisschen knallt. Hallo? Daniel and Viola hear the unexplained voice of a child and soon after hear loud footsteps coming from all directions. The two investigators call out to whoever could be making the creepy sounds, but no answer. And Daniel and Viola aren't the only ones hearing strange things. Team members Julia and Katja are exploring another area of the building that used to be the children's ward, and they too start to hear something. Das hört sich an, als ob ein Kind schreit. Hast du es gehört? Ja, ich habe es auch gehört. Da wieder. Er war immer ein Baby, eine Kinderstation. Mhm. Julia and Katja also hear the creepy voice of a child coming from somewhere inside the building. Later into the investigation, Daniel and Viola start hearing unexplained footsteps on a stairway and begin to feel like someone is watching them. They set up a thermal imaging camera and connect to a large screen so that they can watch in real time. They sit down on the stairs and start to ask questions directed to any spirits still lingering in the abandoned care home. The two witness and capture something absolutely chilling. Du bist noch auf der Treppe, ne? Magst du mal die Treppe runterkommen?
Komm doch mal zu uns. Setz dich doch mal zwischen uns. Das wird aber auch gerade kälter werden. Boah, gerade wird es eiskalt. Ah, Umso länger wir miteinander reden, umso mehr werdet ihr, ne? Gibt es irgendeinen Kommunikationsmechanismus, in dem ihr euch, wenn ihr mit uns redet, wenn ihr mit Menschen allgemein redet, der dann die anderen Energien anzieht? Oh. Hinter uns und an deiner rechten Schulter. Das ist rundrum gerade. Ja, aber das sieht gerade, also bei dir rechts ist definitiv, wie sieht das aus, als würde sich da irgendwas manifestieren. Also wir können dich, quasi wir können dich sehen über unsere Technik, können wir dich so ein bisschen sichtbar machen. Magst du mal mein, meine rechte Hand berühren? The investigators watch as thermal shapes and distortions seem to appear all around them. One figure seems to rise up right between them, and another shape even seems to touch Daniel's hand. Meanwhile, Julie and Katja, who are exploring a different section of the large building, are also beginning to feel like they are not alone. Hello? Daniel? Wer ist da? Jetzt ist jemand da. Hallo? Wer ist da? Wir sind nicht mehr alleine. Hallo, wer ist da? Oh mein Gott, mein Herz rast. Hallo? Julie and Katja hear disturbing sounds and movement coming from somewhere near them. Because the sounds are so loud, they think there might actually be another person in there with them. They decide to just get out of there. Using their walkie-talkies, they call the rest of the team back to their meeting point. But whatever is in the building seems to follow them. What happens next shocks them all. Hier an der Treppe haben wir unten das Licht gesehen und die Stimme. Hallo? Stefan? Ja? Hinter uns. Stöckelschuhe, habt ihr ja. das gehört? Ja, wie, was, wie, wie vorhin auf der Treppe. Stöckelschuhe. Hä? Stöckelschuhe, ganz eindeutig. Hallo? Stefan is downstairs when the rest of the team hears the sound of high heels coming down a hallway. When they look down the hall, one of their cameras captures the dark silhouette of what seems to be a woman walking from right to left before suddenly vanishing into thin air. 
So did the Geisteracton capture the spirits of deceased patients that are said to haunt the abandoned building? And if not, just what did they capture? You can watch this full two hour episode and many more creepy investigations over on the YouTube channel, The Geisteracton. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter there. And hopefully I'll see you next week.